Dear, How are you today, Lollipop? Oh, I feel wonderful, Henry, because every day I get to help the crossing guard. What do you and crossing guard do? We help all the lovely children and their families safely across the road before and after school. That sounds like a very important job, Lollipop. But, hmm, why are you called a lollipop exactly? I'm called a lollipop, Henry, because I look like a giant lollipop. Oh, yes, of course. So, Henry, are you looking forward to school today? I sure am, lollipop. I have my books, <laughs> my pencil case, <laughs> my packed lunch. <laughs> All I need to do now is safely cross the road. I'll be with you in just one moment, Henry. I'm just waiting for the crossing guard to arrive. I'm sure they'll be here any minute. Lollipop, Lollipop, you're never going to believe what happened. The crossing guard has gotten stuck in traffic and won't be able to make it in time for the school run. Oh, no. That means I won't be able to help anyone across the road, Henry. That is a pity, Lollipop. Did someone just say there's no one to help us cross the road? But well, we can't cross on our own. And we have an important spelling test today. Oh, dear, Henry. Look at everybody waiting patiently to cross the road. It would be such a shame if they were all late for school. If only there was another crossing guard around to help. That gives me a great idea, Lollipop. I could become a crossing guard and make it help everyone across the road safely in time for school. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Lollipop. If we're going to help the children across the road, first we need to stop the traffic. Wait, Henry. It's not safe to cross yet. Even a crossing guard has to follow road safety rules. Isn't that right, girls? When you go to cross the road, you better stop, my dear. Look both ways and use your eyes and ears. Let the traffic pass until the road is clear. Now it's safe to cross the road. Have a nice day, my dear. Day, my dear. Thanks, Counts. Ready, Henry? Ready, Lollipop. Let's go! Hello, school bags. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. <laughs> Hello, pencil cases. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. <laughs> Hello, lunch boxes. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. <laughs> You're doing a wonderful job, Henry. All the children are safely across the road. Thanks, Henry. You're welcome, everyone. OK, Lollipop, I guess we're all done. Don't forget about me, Henry. It's my first day. Can you help me across the road, please? Hello, tiny school bag. I didn't see you there. Of course we can. It would be our pleasure. There you go, tiny school bag. The road is clear and it's safe to cross. Now off you pop to school, little one. You don't want to be late. Mm, Henry? I, I, I've never crossed the road without my mum and dad before, and I'm a little nervous. Oh, the poor little mite. What are we going to do, Henry? Don't worry, Lollipop. You wait here and make sure the crossing is safe. I think I have an idea. Don't be scared, tiny school bag. Whenever I need to cross the road, my mum always holds my hand. Ready, tiny school bag? Ready, Henry. Time for school, everyone! Run along now, little one. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Lollipop. You're the best crossing team ever. Yay! The day Henry met a lollipop, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a lollipop, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me Lollipop. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry dear. And thanks for helping all the children across the road safely in time for school. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day. Oh, 
Oh, hello, Henry. How are you today, Elephant? I feel wonderful, Henry. It's another lovely sunny day in the safari park. Oh, and you're in luck. We're just about to go to the family photo album. Oh, Dad, we did that yesterday. And the day before. Listen to your father now, children. You know how he loves his family photo album. This is us in New York. This is my auntie in Lanzarote. Oh, and this is my great-grandfather in Timbuktu. And who's this hairy-looking elephant over here? Oh, <laughs> that, that's not a hairy elephant, Henry. That, that's a cave painting of my great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandmother. She was a woolly mammoth and lived during the Ice Age. The Ice Age? What's that, elephant? The Ice Age was a period in Earth's history when the climate was much, much colder. So cold, in fact, that many of the continents were covered in polar ice. These were huge ice sheets that spread out from the North and South Poles. Wow, that's amazing, elephant. It must have been pretty chilly. Oh, it sure was, Henry. That's why woolly mammoths were so woolly. Oh, I'd so love to meet Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Why can't you, elephant? Oh, Henry, the Ice Age ended over 10,000 years ago. I'd have to travel back in time to do that. That gives me a great idea, Elephant. I could become a prehistoric caveman, and we could travel back to the Ice Age and meet Grandma Woolly Mammoth together. Oh, oh that's a great idea, Henry. Hello, Cave. Hello, Henry. How can I help you today? We're looking for Grandma Woolly Mammoth. She, she wears gr green glasses, a lovely purple hat, and pink fluffy slippers. I've seen a glyptodon in mittens, a saber-toothed tiger wearing a bobble hat, and a parasitherium with a frilly scarf, but I haven't seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth, I'm afraid. But I'm sure if you pop outside the cave, you'll find her in no time. Will do, cave paintings. Will do. Oh, no, Henry. This place is so big. It's going to take us all day to find Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Well, better get started then. Let's go! Hello, Glyptodon. Have you seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth around here today? She's wearing green glasses. I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. I've been too busy sledging. Excuse me, Saber Two Tiger. Uh, have you seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth? She's wearing a purple hat. I haven't, I'm afraid, Elephant. I've been too busy practicing my ice sculpting. Ta da! Oh. Hello, Parasitherium. I don't suppose you've seen Grandma Woolly Mammoth. She has pink fluffy slippers. I'm afraid not, Henry. I've been too busy building a snowman. There, all done. Oh dear, Henry. We've looked everywhere and we still haven't found Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Don't give up yet, Elephant. If we keep on looking, we're bound to find her. All I can see is ice, snow, woolly mammoth tracks, snow. Did you just say woolly mammoth tracks? <laughs> so I did, Henry. Come on, elephant. Let's go. Grandma Woolly Mammoth. Uh, um, you, you don't know me, but you're my very, very distant relative. Oh, how delightful. It's lovely to meet you. Oh, we're going to have so much to talk about. Grandma Woolly Mammoth, where are you going? Oh, no. The ice is broken off and I'm drifting away. Grandma Woolly Mammoth is floating out into the open waters. What are we going to do? Don't worry, elephant. I think I have an idea. Ready, steady, go! Oh, we did it, Henry. We travelled back to the Ice Age, found Grandma Woolly Mammoth and saved her from drifting off in the ice. Now there's only one thing left to do. Say cheese, everyone. Cheese. Today, Henry met an elephant. He laughed along with everyone. Today, Henry met an elephant. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry. That's my mum calling me elephant. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me finally meet Grandma Woolly Mammoth. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, bye bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A cactus. <laughs> Hello, cactus. 
Buenos días. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Cactus? I feel muy bien. Very good, Henry. I just love living in the garden center surrounded by all my cactusy friends. Hello, everyone. Um, cactus, is it true that cacti normally live in the desert? See, si, that's right, Henry. You must get awfully hot and thirsty sitting in the sun all day. Well, Henry, even though it doesn't rain very often in the desert, Cacti use our long roots and thick, juicy flesh to soak up the water like a sponge and store it for months, so we always have enough to drink. Olay! And why do you have these little prickles? They're my spines, Henry. Not only do they stop animals giving me a little nibble, but they also cast hundreds of tiny shadows which help keep me cool. Watch your fingers. Olay! We'll do, Cactus. We'll do. Hmm. And what's this here? Hello. That's my grandfather's deputy badge, Henry. He used to be deputy to a famous sheriff in the wild, wild west. I like to wear it and dream of following in his footsteps. Yeehaw! Well, I think you'd make a great deputy cactus. Why don't you give it a try? I'd love to, Henry. But you can't have a deputy without the sheriff. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, cactus. I could become a sheriff and you could be my deputy. And we can go on an adventure in the wild, wild west. That's a great idea, Henry. Okay, Deputy Cactus. A sheriff's job is to keep the town safe and happy and make sure no one causes any trouble. Sheriff Henry, Deputy Cactus, there's trouble at the old saloon. Sounds like a job for Sheriff Henry and Deputy Cactus. I saw it first. No, I saw it first. No, I saw it first. Hold up, glasses. What seems to be the problem? There was only one bottle of fizzy orange left, and I thought first. Did not do two. They seem very annoyed, Henry. What are we going to do? My mum always says, if there's enough for one, there's enough for two. Cheers! Can you help keep us safe, Sheriff Henry? I sure can. In here, everyone. Take hey, Sheriff Henry! Water! Water! Here you go, horse. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Sheriff Henry. <laughs> oh, please help, Sheriff Henry. I don't know what to do. I've tried everything. Have you tried your rattle? Of course. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sheriff. You are doing a great job, Sheriff Henry. The whole town is safe and heavy thanks to you. All in a day's work, Deputy Cactus. Now, as long as a bandit doesn't ride into town and challenge me to a pie-throwing contest at noon, I think everything's going to be just fine. Whoa. I'm a bandit, and I just rode into town. I challenged Sheriff Henry to a pie throwing contest at noon. I accept. Good luck, Sheriff Henry. Draw. Are you all right? I'm... I'm okay, Sheriff Henry. In fact, I'm better than okay. This pie is delicious. Delicious? You really think so? In that case, maybe it's time for me to give up being a bandit and follow my dream of opening a pie shop. I know that the whole town is safe. And seeing as you were so brave, Cactus, I'm promoting you to Sheriff. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much, Henry. Yay! The day Henry met a cactus, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a cactus, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me cactus. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me go to the wild, wild west and become sheriff. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Adios. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met. A Sheepdog. Hello, Henry. Woof, woof. How are you today, Sheepdog? 
I feel fantastic, Henry. You can't beat living on a farm. Every day, I get to. Watch the sunrise with Rooster. Cock a doodle doo. Play hide and seek with the cows. Found you. Ooh. And play chase with the butterflies. <laughs> but there's one thing I like doing more than anything else. What's that then, sheepdog? I just love spending time with the shepherd and helping him round up all the sheep. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun, sheepdog. But, hmm, where did the sheep go once they're rounded up? They go in the sheep pen, Henry, so they're all safe and cosy. The shepherd and I spend most of our time looking after the sheep, and in turn, they give us wool and milk. Isn't that right, sheep? Sheep? Oh no, Henry. Someone's left the pen gate open, and all the sheep have escaped. This is a disaster. And to make matters worse, it looks like there's a storm coming. What are we going to do? Maybe you should call the shepherd to help you run them up. I would, Henry, but the shepherd has gone into town to buy some new wellies and won't be back till later. If only there was another shepherd around to help. That gives me a great idea, sheepdog. I could become a shepherd and me could round up all the sheep together. That's a great idea, Henry. Okay, if you're going to be a shepherd, first you're going to need a whistle. Oh, but sheepdog, I'm not very good at whistling. <laughs> Don't worry, Henry. I'm a special shepherd's whistle. Shepherds use me to give their sheepdogs commands when they're herding sheep. So, if you want me to go straight, you whistle like this. And say, walk on. If you want me to run right, you go. And say, come by. And if you want me to run left, you go. And say, away. And what about if I want you to stop? Then you go. And say, lie down. Okay, sheepdog. These sheep aren't going to herd themselves. There's no time to waste. Let's get herding. <laughs> Come by, sheepdog. Come by. Away, sheepdog. Away. <laughs> Walk on, sheepdog. <laughs> That'll do, sheepdog. That'll do. You're doing a great job, Henry. There's just one last sheep to get back to the pen. <laughs> Just take out your whistle, and we'll have them back in the pen in no time. Oh no, sheepdog. I can't find my whistle. I must have lost it. What are we going to do? There's only one thing for it, Henry. You're just going to have to whistle without it. Whistle without it? Oh dear. It's okay, Henry. Just give it your best shot. We'll do, sheepdog. We'll do. <sighs> <sighs> Keep trying, Henry. I can't do it, sheepdog. Don't give up, Henry. You can do it. Give it one last try. Okay, sheepdog. Here goes. <laughs> woof, woof. Sorry I'm late, everyone. I fell out of Henry's pocket and got lost in the long grass. That's okay, Whistle. We still managed to round up all the sheep safe and sound inside the pen. And I've learned how to whistle. Yay! Hey, Henry met a sheepdog. He laughed along with everyone. Hey, Henry met a sheepdog. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. It's my mum calling me sheepdog. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me round up all the sheep. You're welcome, sheepdog. And thanks for helping me learn how to whistle. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a baseball bat. Baseball Bat. Hey, how are you doing, Henry? I'm good, thanks, Baseball Bat. How are you doing? I'm as happy as a hot dog in a bun, Henry. Every day I get to hang out on the sports field and practice the greatest sport in the world, baseball. I've never played baseball before. That's easy, Henry kid. You get a bat, you get a ball, 
You hit it out of the park, bada bing, bada boom, crowd go wild, piece of cake. Well, actually, it's not quite as simple as that. Here we have a picture of a baseball field. The ball is thrown towards the batter's plate, the batter hits the ball, and if they run around all the bases in one go, it's called a home run. Or if I catch the ball before it bounces, you're out of here! Woohoo! Whoa! Great shot, baseball bats! You must have so much fun playing on the sports field all day. I sure do, Henry Kid. But gee whiz, there's one thing I've always wanted to do, but I've never had the chance. What's that, baseball bats? Is it to wear a giant foam hand? Is it to do a Mexican wave? Is it to eat the biggest hot dog in the entire universe? Even better than all those, Henry. I've always wanted to play in a real baseball stadium, hit a home run, and win a world championship. Why don't you give it a try? I'd love to, Henry, but I'd need a professional baseball player to play in a real baseball stadium. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, baseball bats. I could become a baseball player, and we could play in a real baseball stadium together. That's a great idea, Henry. What a beautiful day for a ball game. Stepping up to the plate for the first time, Henry and Baseball Pass. Okay, Henry, kid. You get three chances to hit the ball. Ready, Baseball Bats? Ready, Henry. Yeah! Strike one! Whoa, what a zinger! That was a real humdinger. But don't beat yourself up, Henry. We still have two balls left. Strike two! All right, concentrate, Henry. This is our last ball. We'll do, baseball bat. We'll do. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Strike three! Oh. Ooh, Ooh, so, so close, close, but yet, yet so, so far. far. Oh no, baseball bat. Does that mean I'm out of the game? No, Henry, don't worry. There are eight more innings left. We're only getting started. Okay, baseball bats, let's play ball. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Oh. The scores are tied, and it's the bottom of the ninth, as Henry and the baseball bat step back up to the plate. This is our last chance, Henry. It's the last ball of the game. Make it count, kid. Okay, baseball bat. Let's give it our best shot. Yeah! Here it comes, Henry. Yeah! Run, Henry, run! Hello, first base. Hello, second base. Hello, third base. Hello, Henry. Yeah. Quick, Henry, kid. You have to get to home base before the ball does. Slide, Henry. Slide. Safe. Home run, home run. What a ball game. You've got some heart, Henry, kid. We played in a real baseball stadium, we won the world championship, and we hit the best home run ever. I couldn't have done it without all your help, Baseball Bats. Now, who wants a hot dog? Yay! Hey, Henry met a Baseball Bat. He laughed along with everyone. And hey, Henry met a Baseball Bat. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me Baseball Bats. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry Kid, and thanks for helping me hit a home run and win the world championship. You're welcome. Have a nice day. See you later, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met. Ah, Sunbury! <laughs> Hello, Submarine. Hello, Henry. Today, submarine. I feel fantastic, Henry. It's another beautiful day at the harbour, and it's almost time for my annual clean. Bucket and sponge at your service. There, all done. Ah, much better. What do you think, Henry? Oh yes, very shiny submarine. But what is it you do exactly? 
Are you like a boat? I'm a lot like a boat, Henry, but instead of sailing across the water, I travel under the water. Wow, that's amazing, submarine. I love going underwater when I wear my goggles. You must have seen some amazing things. Oh, you'd think so, Henry, but unfortunately, all I've seen lately is smelly old tyres, slimy old bottles and rusty old shopping trolleys. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone! To make matters worse, there's one place I've always wanted to visit but never had a chance. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia. The Great Barrier Reef? What's that, submarine? The Great Barrier Reef is the jewel of the ocean, Henry. It's home to the most beautiful and spectacular sea life in the old world. That sounds amazing, submarine. Why don't you go? Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but my submarine captain burnt his tongue on some fish and chips and had to go home. Phony, there was another one around. That gives me a great idea, submarine. I could become a submarine captain and we could travel under the sea and visit the Great Barrier Reef. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Submarine, first things first. Which way to the Great Barrier Reef? I'm not sure, Henry. Maybe we could dive down and ask for directions. Great idea, Submarine. Next up, the Great Barrier Reef. Hello, Swordfish. Do you know the way to the Great Barrier Reef? I don't, I'm afraid. But I do know the way to the dartboard. Yeah! 180! Hello, school of fish. Do any of you know the way to the Great Barrier Reef? I'm afraid not, Sabarine. But we do know our one, two, threes, don't we, children? Yes, children! Hello, jellyfish. Do any of you know where the Great Barrier Reef is? We don't, sorry, Henry. But why don't you stop and watch our light show? Ready, guys? What are we going to do, Henry? We must have searched the all ocean and we still haven't found the Great Barrier Reef. Maybe we should check the periscope. Good thinking, Henry. See anything, Henry? Hmm. I can see a fish, a fish, a fish, a giant scary squid coming right for us, another fish. A giant scary squid coming right for us. Ah! Go, go, go! Bye bye, jellyfish. Oh. Bye bye, school of fish. Bye -bye. Bye-bye, swordfish. Bye. Quick, Henry, he's gaining on us. Let's hide behind this rock. Good thinking, Henry. There's no way he'll find us here. Uh, ah! Don't be frightened. I was just talking to my friends, the jellyfish, and they were saying you were looking for the Great Barrier Reef. That's right, giant scary squid. Do you know the way? I sure do, Henry. In fact, it's right here. That's amazing! Thanks, giant scary squid! Henry, it's even more wondrous and beautiful than I could ever have imagined. It sure is, submarine. It truly is the jewel of the ocean. Yay! The day Henry met a submarine, he laughed along with everyone. That's my mum calling me, Submarine. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me visit the Great Barrier Reef. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day! Hello, Helicopter. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Helicopter? I feel marvelous, Henry. It's the day of the big air show, and there's so much to see. We have jets. Hello, Henry. Blimps. Hello, Henry. And biplanes. Oh, hello, ho, Henry. Hello, everyone. And what have you been up to, Helicopter? I've been busy taking people on helicopter rides up, down and all around the airfield. That sounds like a lot of fun, Helicopter. But how do you fly when you don't have any wings? Oh, great question, Henry. I use my rotor blades to fly. 
They whiz around super fast, and as the air passes over each blade, it's forced downwards, which lifts me high into the air. Woohoo! Wow, that's amazing, helicopter. It sounds like you have the best job in the world. I do, Henry, but I have always wondered what it would be like to be a rescue helicopter, so instead of helping people have fun, I could help them in their time of need. Woo! Woo! People in need! People in need! We need a rescue helicopter, quick! Looks like this is your chance, helicopter! Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but my helicopter pilot has gone on a hot air balloon ride and won't be back for ages. Oh, if only there was another one around to help. That gives me a great idea, Helicopter. I could become a helicopter pilot and we could rescue people together. That's a great idea, Henry. Henry, Helicopter, there's trouble down at the farm. Go, go, go. Henry, it's our first mission. Prepare for takeoff. We'll do, Helicopter. We'll do. Whee! Helicopter to the rescue! Ooh. Hello, fancy car. Are you all right? I'm afraid not, Henry. I was on my way to a wedding when I got lost, and now I'm stuck in the mud. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Don't worry. The mud does wonders for my skin. Hold tight, fancy car. We'll have you back on the road in no time. Ready, helicopter? Ready, Henry. Thank you kindly, Henry. Now, I must be off. Don't want to miss the cake. Henry, helicopter, there's some people who need rescuing. An overturned lorry, a submarine stuck in a dock, and a donkey trapped out at sea. Go, go, go! There's no time to waste. Let's go! Hello, articulated lorry. Whoa, thanks, Henry. Hello, submarine. Thanks, Henry. Hello, donkey. Cheers! Henry, helicopter, you're doing great. Still have one last mission. You need to rescue a rucksack that's stuck up a mountain. Go, go, go! Oh, that should be easy. Careful, Henry. We're flying straight into a snowstorm. He's up here, Henry, old boy. <laughs> Quick, Henry! Hold on, Rucksack! We'll have you safe in no time! Steady, Henry! Left a bit, right a bit, you're almost there! And... jump! Thanks so much for rescuing me! That's the last time I climb a mountain on my own. You're welcome, Rucksack. It's all in a day's work for Henry the Helicopter Pilot and his amazing rescue helicopter. Yay! The day Henry met a helicopter, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a helicopter, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me. Helicopter, I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me become a rescue helicopter. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. Happy MS. <laughs> <laughs> BMX. Hey, Henry, dude. How are you today, BMX? I feel totally awesome, Henry. I love being in the bike shop because I get to practice my sweet BMX tricks in front of all my two-wheel friends. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. That sure sounds like a lot of fun, BMX. What tricks have you been working on lately? I'm glad you asked, Henry. First up, we have the bar spin. Whoa! Next, we have the bunny hop. Yeah! And last, but not least, my personal favorite, the classic wheelie. Yay! Wow, BMX. They were the best tricks I've ever seen. Being a BMX bike must be amazing. It totally is, Henry. 
But you know, sometimes, instead of pulling sweet tricks all the time, I like to try something a little different. I've always wanted to take part in the Tour de France, Henry, just like a pro racing bike. Bonjour, Henri. Bonjour, pro racing bike. What's the Tour de France then, BMX? The Tour de France is one of the oldest, most prestigious cycling races in the whole world, Henry. Competitors race through the streets, countryside, and mountains of France, finishing in the nation's capital, Paris. Why don't you give it a go? I'd love to, Henry, but look at me. I have little stubby wheels, a chunky little frame, and no gears. I wouldn't even get up the first hill without a cyclist to help me pump my pedals. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, BMX. I could become a cyclist, and we could take part in the Tour de France together. That's a great idea, Henry, dude. Henri, BMX, I'm so glad you could make it. Are you both ready for the big race? We sure are, pro racing bike. I have my cycling shorts, my water bottle, and my helmet. Très bien, Henri. Very good. See you at the finish line. Quick, Henry. It's almost time for us to start. Hop on. Ready, steady, go, go, go. Let's go. Hello, vineyards. Bonjour, Henri. Hello, Alps. Bonjour, Henri. Eiffel Tower. Bonjour, Henri. What a race. You are truly a worthy competitor. Race you to the top. Come on, Henry. Let's go. We're almost at the top, Henry, dude. Sacre bleu. I cannot go on much longer. We did it, Henry. Next stop, the finish line. Wahoo! You're doing great, Henry. We're in first place. Absolutely nothing can stop us now. Uh-oh. Henry, dude, I've got a puncture. Quick, get out the puncture repair kit. Puncture repair kit? I didn't know we needed one of those. Oh, no, Henry, this is a disaster. We'll never finish the race together with just one good wheel. What are we gonna do? Hmm. Don't worry, BMX. I think I have an idea. Woohoo! Great thinking, Henry, dude. Not only did we finish the race, we did it in style. We sure did, BMX. But we couldn't have done it without your amazing tricks. Yay! my mom calling me BMX. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, dude. And thanks for helping me take part in the Tour de France. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met after Hello, surfboard. G'day, Henry. How are you today, surfboard? Can't complain, Henry, mate. The sun is shining, the waves are lapping at the shore, and I can feel the sand tickling my fin. It's another totally bonza day at the beach. But, surfboard, shouldn't you be in the water and not sat here on the beach? No, Henry, mate. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for the perfect wave. Like that one over there. Hello. That's right, Henry. Surf's up. Wow, surfboard. That was the biggest wave I've ever seen. If you think that was a big wave, Henry, just wait till you see the super-duper giant wave of doom. The super-duper giant wave of doom? That's right, Henry. It's the tallest, fastest, splashiest, waviest wave of them all, and no one's ever been able to ride it before. I'm sure you could ride it, surfboard. I'd love to, Henry, but my surfer had to go home and change because he got sand in his underpants. 
and I'd never be able to tackle a wave like that on my own. Oh, if only there was another surfer around to help. That gives me a great idea, surfboard. I could become a surfer and we can go surfing together and ride the super duper giant wave of doom. It's a great idea, Henry. Okay, surfboard. I probably should have mentioned this earlier. I don't actually know how to surf, but I am a great swimmer. No worries, Henry, mate. First things first, you need to give me a good wax. I'd generally stop your feet slipping off when they get wet, little dude. Next, you need to lay down and paddle into a wave. Like this? That's it, Henry, mate. Then once you see the wave coming, you hop up onto your feet and ride it all the way back to the beach. Huh? Henry, you little beauty. We'll be surfing the super duper giant wave of doom in no time. And look, I think I see another wave coming now. Well, there's no time to waste then, surfboard. Let's go! Hello, dolphin. Hello. Henry. Hello, seagull. Hello, Henry. Ha. Hello, turtle. Hello, Henry. This is it, Henry, mate. All we need to do now is wait for the super duper giant wave of doom to arrive. Look, surfboard. I think I see it. Cool. You're right, Henry. Three, two, one, pedal! OK, Henry, mate. Now hop up. Will do, surfboard. Will do. Here we go. Woohoo! Wow, that was amazing, surfboard. I can't believe we got to surf the super duper giant wave of doom. I don't think that was the super duper giant wave of doom. That's the super duper giant wave of doom. <laughs> surf for your lives! You can do it, Henry! The super duper giant wave of doom. We sure did, surfboard. But I couldn't have done it without your help. Now, who fancies a Barbie on the beach? Day Henry met a surfboard. He laughed along with everyone. Day Henry met a surfboard. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. It's my mum calling me surfboard. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, mate. And thanks for helping me surf the super duper giant wave of doom. You're welcome. Have a nice day. See you later, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, mum. The day Henry met. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Bus? I feel fantastic, Henry. You can't beat the life of a tour bus. Every day I cruise around the city streets of London, taking in the sights, the sounds, the culture. It's the best city in the world. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so then, Henry, what brings you to the city today? Are you planning on taking in the sights? I sure am, bus. I have my guidebook, <laughs> my packed lunch. <laughs> All I need now is my bus ticket. One child's ticket, please. Oh, I'd love to sell you a ticket, Henry, but it won't be much use, I'm afraid. My bus driver's train has been delayed and they can't get to work and I've had to cancel the sightseeing tour. That's terrible news. Did someone just say the tour has been cancelled? But we've been looking forward to this for weeks. And we've travelled such a long way. Crikey, Henry, look at that queue. It looks like half of London wants a bus tour. Oh, if only there was another bus driver around to help. That gives me a great idea, bus. I could become a bus driver and we could take those tourists on the best sightseeing tour ever. That's a great idea, Henry. Okay, everyone, take your seats, please. 
It's almost time to depart. Salaman. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to pop your seatbelt on, Henry. Will do, bus. Will do. Whee! Oh. Hello, passengers. Welcome to Henry's Super Duper London Sightseeing Tour Bus. First stop, the London Eye. Everybody ready? Ready, Henry! Then let's go! Hello, London Eye. Hello, Henry. The London Eye is as tall as 45 elephants and can hold up to 800 passengers. Hello, Elizabeth Tower. Oh, hello, Henry. The Elizabeth Tower is more commonly referred to as Big Ben. However, this is actually the nickname of the great bell that sits inside, which chimes every hour on the hour. Ah. Hello, Buckingham Palace. Hello, Henry. Buckingham Palace is home to the Queen of the United Kingdom. If the royal standard is flying, it means the Queen is home. Queen! Ooh. You're doing a brilliant job, Henry. There's just one last stop on the tour. The tallest building in the United Kingdom, the Shard. OK, everyone. Cameras at the ready. Next stop, the Shard. Oh, no, Henry. Look at this fog. I know, Bus. I can barely see a thing. What are we going to do, Henry? At this rate, we wouldn't find the Shard, even if we were right outside. We can't end the tour without seeing the final attraction. Hmm. Don't worry, Bus. I think I have an idea. What are we doing here, Henry? We've driven all the way out of the city. You said the Shard was the tallest building in the United Kingdom. Well, take a look over there. Hello. There it is, Henry. The Shard! And look, the fog is starting to clear. We can see the whole of London from here. This is the best sightseeing tour ever! Yay! It's all in a day's work for Henry the Bus Driver. The day Henry met the bus, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met the bus, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me, Bus. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me put on the best sightseeing tour ever. You're welcome. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. Apple time. <laughs> <laughs> Bowtie. Hello, Henry, dear boy. How are you today, Bowtie? I feel fantastic, Henry. I'm just about to be cleaned and pressed. Here we go! <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Are you okay, Bowtie? You look a little shaken. I'm okay, Henry. A little shaken, but not stirred. It must be so much fun being a bow tie. I bet you get invited to all the best parties. Oh, the life of a bow tie isn't as glamorous as everyone thinks, Henry. If I'm not getting covered in cake crumbs at a wedding, I'm getting covered in makeup at a high school prom. Sorry to hear that, bow tie. Just once, I'd love to go on a super exciting mission with a special agent. So instead of getting dirty, I can save the day. If only there was a suave and sophisticated special agent around to help. That gives me a great idea, Bowtie. I could become a suave and sophisticated special agent, and together we can go on a super exciting mission and save the day. That's a great idea, Henry. Agent Henry, if I could have your attention, please. Evil Pussycat has stolen the crown jewels and has locked them up in his super secret island base of doom. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to reach the island Break into the vault and retrieve the crown jewels. We, we accept. accept! How exciting! Woohoo! Huh. Hello, 
Agent Crush test dummy. Glad you could finally make it, Agent Henry. Now, you can't go on a super exciting mission without some super exciting gadgets. Oh, I love gadgets. Follow me. Here, we have a regular looking pair of shoes, but if I click the heels, they turn into rocket skis. <laughs> Smashing. Next, this may look like a normal wristwatch, but if I press the button, a laser beam shoots out. Hot stuff. And finally, my favorite, your special agent car, complete with ejector seat. He always was a bit of a high flyer. And what does this gadget do, Agent Crash Test Dummy? Does it fire rockets? Does it freeze time? Does it turn into an ice cream sundae machine? That's just a TV remote, Agent Henry. I've been looking for that everywhere. Warning. 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 Agent Henry, that's the alarm to start the super exciting mission. Well, there's no time to waste then, Bowtie. Special Agent Henry to the rescue! Bowtie, the crown jewels are just up ahead. Be careful, Agent Henry. Anyone for popcorn? Popcorn? Special Agent Henry, what are you doing here? I've come to rescue you from the claws of Evil Pussycat. Evil Pussycat? He's not evil. He's the nicest cat we know. That's why he invited us over for movie night. Movie night? How splendid. I'd ask you to join us, Agent Henry, but we can't find the TV remote anywhere. Movie night is ruined. Don't worry, Pussycat. I think I have an idea. You did it, Henry. All in a day's work for a special Agent Henry. Yay! That's my mum calling me, Bowtie. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me go on a super exciting mission. You're welcome. Have a nice night. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum.